Hi Sagittarius, it's CJ here. Welcome to my channel if you're new and welcome back if you've been here before. First of all, I'd like to take a moment to say thank you so much for all of the support on my channel and for me, all of your love, all of the likes, the subscribes, the beautiful way you've been sharing your situation or your experience. Even for those of you that are offering support to other Saggies, man, that is just such a beautiful, beautiful gift that you're giving to each other and as well to me. And I just wanted to take a moment just to recognize you and say how much you are appreciated and how much your energy is needed. So blessings to you. Sag, I hope you're doing well. This reading is gonna be your daily reading. It's gonna be for November 1st, 2022. I cannot believe that we are on the cusp of November. Okay, so as we did that last week of um, doing dailies, I felt that I would like to continue trying to do it, you know, to the best that I possibly can on my time frame. I hope it you enjoy it. I hope it helps a little bit just to get you through the day, a little added, um, hopefully, positivity, <laughs> right? Um, and let's just get started. So, Sagi, remember, especially those of you that are new here, um, this is a general reading, right? So it is not a personal one, um, a private one. So only take the messages that seem to resonate with you, that seem to be connecting to your inner guidance, right? Um, and if it doesn't resonate, this just may not be your reading at this time, or it could be something that happens down the line or that happened a couple of months ago. Time is fluid. All right, so without further ado, Saggy, let's get into your daily reading for October, uh, October, November 1st. Today is October 31st, I'm doing this. I'm a little late. Things were a little hectic last week and even on the weekend, so I had to take a little bit of time just to kind of reground myself, right? And just kind of take a breather. It's a lot of meditating and I feel much more grounded, I think I'll say. Okay, so Sag, let's get started. I'm gonna use my secret language of the color. Uh, it was really guided to it. Um, this is a color, whatever color comes out, if you're inclined, if you want to actually use that energy, the vibration of the color, wear it, have it around you, even look at it, like maybe you got a piece of artwork or something that has a color in it. Um, it can just help really connect you to the vibration. So let's see what spirit has for you, Sagi, for November 1st. 2022 spirit please show me clearly what color would be the beneficial color message for saggies as they start their day on november 1st please show me clearly well that was very clearly we have sapphire and this is regenerating your body beautiful calming meditative kind of energy and I'm aware not everyone meditates right it's it, and that is totally cool but here is the color that would be very beneficial to wear even um, if you've been feeling zapped out if your energy is kind of just lower lately I know that you've gone through a lot of things it has been trying it has been stressing stressful I mean for the majority of you and this is about taking that time to actually regenerate yourself um, um, getting more rest, you know, having a hot bath, if you're into that. I mean, the color blue, if you can be even around water, um, really powerful energy. They seem to be saying that you've been going, you've been quite taxed here with something and it might be affecting your body, even in the ways of like muscle aches. Um, you know, you may be having headaches, shoulder. I'm feeling a lot of tension in my shoulders right now. Um, so if you are, try to do something that can help relieve it. Do some stretches, you know, if you're fortunate enough and you get a massage, I would say that would be very helpful because when our mind is in, or when our body is in good shape, good vibrational energy, our mind then can really kind of work properly and actually focus a little bit more um, easier, right? Bottom of the deck, we have apricot, which is rejoice and laugh. So we will take that. I always take the bottom of the deck. Most times I'm guided that way. So rejoice and laugh. So I really feel this Tuesday, um, November 1st, is going to be a, a day where you're being reminded to have some fun to not take things quite so seriously if things have been feeling very heavy. Um, and just even in that, if you ever had that big, I'm sure you have, you know when you start laughing over something that could be the most ridiculous thing ever, but you really kind of almost can't stop it because it goes and you go into hysterics and you know, you, 
when that happens to me, I start snorting and I, 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 I cry so much, but it's with such a good feeling, right? The belly hurts after, the muscles in your jaw is sore after. If you can allow yourself to have a little bit of that, it'll help your body regenerate even. You know, it, it causes an endorphin to be released in, inside of us that makes us feel more joyful and can minimize any stress that we might be dealing with. So I feel this is really about you taking the time to be aware of any body parts of you that is not feeling great and to remind yourself to just try and have a little bit of fun and be a little lighter in your spirit. Okay, so that's where we're gonna leave it. I'm gonna get into your three card spread and let us begin. Um, when I was shuffling off camera, Justice card did show up about three times and it is on the bottom. So that is all about balancing out, scales getting balanced, truth being told, <clears throat> um, things that have been going wrong, getting righted. Um, so let's see, let's see what Spirit has for you for November 1st. For Sagittarius, we've got one, okay, four of swords. There we go, this is about that regenerating your body, taking that much needed rest if you need it, um, taking a time out just to regroup. A lot of you have said that you've been going through, you know, you've been going through a lot, and Sag, I get it, I understand. You gotta take some time out for yourself, even if that means just going to bed a little bit earlier. I know I'm not your mother, I'm not at, I'm not attempting to be that way, I'm just trying to be your friend and saying, listen, if this is re resonating with you, Sweetheart, you need to get a little bit more rest. You just need to take a little bit more time for yourself um, so that you can actually be in the full power that you are. Okay, let's continue. Two more cards, please. And I know Four of Swords is not always the... There we go. Not always the easiest. Ooh, the Emperor and the Ace of Swords. Love this. Not always the easiest, especially if you're living a busy life. Ooh, there's the Eight of Swords on the bottom. You know... You got to get up. You got to go to work. You got to go take care of your children, your family, all of that. I know it's not easy to carve any time up, but if you can just, um, even at the end of the day, take 20 minutes to go do something for just yourself so that you can replenish, it just feels really necessary here. Now, bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Swords. Okay, Eight of Swords. You may be in your mind a bit too much. Eight of Swords is all about feeling stuck and feeling blocked and can be fear, you know, fear of the unknown, fear of what you can't see. Um, things, if they're not feeling really great on this November 1st, this is a reminder that you are not powerless, Saggy, no matter how things feel. You can get yourself out of this situation. And I think Spirit is really wanting to come through to say, start with taking care of yourself. Start with taking that time out for yourself just to disconnect from the issues, from anything that feels daunting or that feels heavy, right? That is what this energy is about. We do have the Ten of Swords after it. So I feel that with the right amount of mental focus here and mental discipline, you will leave this worry and everything behind. And, and look, we've got the Emperor in the middle here, followed by the Ace of Swords. So this is only a daily read, so, but it does say if you're able to get some rest here over this next 24 hours, time being fluid, of course, you are, it's going to replenish you to the place where you're back doing, you're back at the best, you know, you're back connected to your strength, your um, ability to do whatever it is that you want. I mean, you do have a Midas touch here. And this is what I feel Spirit is saying is like, don't allow yourself to get too weighted down by anything that might feel like a problem. Um, because it is going to be fast moving and it's just a moment that you're feeling this way. Being the emperor in the center, that means boss, right? Like you're back in control. You are leading your life the way that you want. We all have slip ups. We all have moments where, you know, you may just, where you, I know I've had that where one day I'm feeling really on top of the world and then the next day, let's say there's a few things that have come up. If I'm not mentally rested, my body is tired and exhausted. I really can't think straight and I know that then the next day it becomes very overwhelming because because of just that, the physical actual nature of my body, my mind being so exhausted that I can't find my way out. So if this is your situation on November 1st, please remember to take that little bit of time out for yourself. Even if that is just stopping off because I'm they're giving me a coffee or a tea shop right now in my in my mind. Um, even if that means just stopping and running and grabbing your favorite beverage, your coffee, your tea, or just 
stopping at a park bench and just sipping it for 10 minutes, 15 minutes, if you can do that, to replenish, to connect to nature, right? There is beautiful healing energy in our world, in our nature, especially around trees, birds, all of that. I feel like that will do be very beneficial for you. It will put you back into the place where you feel like, yeah, I got this. I got this. I just needed to get a little bit of rest and restructure myself, and now I'm back in boss mode. The emperor always feels like a boss to me because he's at the top, right? Male or female, doesn't matter. Energy of the cards. Uh, very much in control, very much self-assured, knows the direction he or she wants to go in, and, and really leads the way. Really totally leads the way. Somewhat kind of like your king of wands energy for me. And, and it's followed by the ace of swords. So whatever things that might be scaring you right now, that you might, the unknown, I'll put it that way, it's not going to be unknown for very long because the Ace of Swords comes along to say, oh, you've got a brilliant new way of seeing clarity. You're going to be seeing things way more um, direct and focused. And some of you might even have some really great ideas that might be coming to life for you and new directions that you want to head on that will take you to the very top here. So let's get some clarifiers and see what else may be needed. I will take the Eight of Swords out. Uh, I'll leave the Ten of Swords in. Okay, so what else do you have for Saggy for November 1st? What else would you like them to know? I know, oh, okay. Oh, right, we've got the Five of Cups and we've got the Seven of Wands. Mm-hmm, and we have the Four of Cups now on the bottom. <clears throat> there is a protection that you're doing. There is, you're going to be feeling a little bit more protected or you're going to be defending yourself a little bit more here. Five of Cups is that sadness, that disappointment. For some of you, this could be even just in the recent past. Um, <clears throat> something lingering. It doesn't even have to be that big of a thing. It could just be some disappointment that came along, maybe over the weekend, that has made you feel sad. It's maybe kind of taken away and you're like, oh, geez, that didn't work out, or I don't like the way that felt. Maybe it could have been even an argument or something that you might have had with another person. It's a feeling of sadness. And that is another reason, if this is what has happened to you, Saji, it's another reason for you to try and get a little bit more rest, to disconnect from the emotional part and just allow yourself some downtime. It's followed by the Seven of Wands, and that's why I'm saying I feel like you're going to be defending yourself. Not even necessarily, def maybe defending isn't the right word. Um, more like keeping yourself protected. That is what it feels more like. Um, really not allowing anything that might be kind of hard to hear or you know someone's attitude might not be the most nicest around you you're not allowing it to penetrate yourself and I like that here because it feels like you are moving from a place an energy vibe of feeling worn out feeling exhausted feeling sad to empowerment and no longer kind of taking this shit is what it feels like we have the four of cups on the bottom as well Again, this is that energy of, I am not sure what's coming my way. Um, I see the three cups, I've experienced them, but I cannot see the fourth at this moment. So really, if this makes sense, try to get some rest. Just feels so important. We've got the Queen of Wands after the Four of Cups, and we have the Sun. So there is positive movement here. Again, this is only for the day, right? Um, it might not be the most easiest day at the very beginning, right? This could even be happening for you right now, if, especially if you're in the Southern Hemisphere. It is already November 1st. Um, hold on. You're breaking out of this. You're going back into your boss mode, whatever that means. Um, but you will be back in control of your life. I'm going to get you one final card. Let's see. Okay, thank you, Spirit. Now we've got the Seven of Wands and the Seven of Cups. And the Four of Cups remains on the bottom. Okay, well, I guess that's because it didn't shuffle as well. Um, but they want you to have it. Seven of Cups. Saggy, whatever this is relating to, really, you're going to have to just try and you got to take care of you first because there might be a lot of things coming at you on November 1st. Seven of Cups. <clears throat> a lot of options, a lot of opportunities. It also could be a lot of confusion. You're not sure which way to go. So Spirit's way of coming through on that is to say, look, you just got to do one thing at a time. One thing at a time, and I think the first thing is, if you can see this copper cup here, the first thing is to make sure you're doing good service to yourself 
first and foremost. You deserve to be rested and in your full strength. Because Saji, when you are in your full power, and you know you've been you've gotten rest and you feel rejuvenated and your mind is clear, there is nothing that can stop you from what you want. There is nothing that will stop you from achieving your full potential. So there is a major theme coming through in this reading for November 1st. It is about you really just taking care of yourself first and trusting that all the pieces are gonna fall in alignment as you move forward. Um, I don't know if they want me, they want me to talk about the sun, okay. So the sun in any reading is, first of all, it's Leo's card. But the sun showing up in any reading is reminding you that even if you have a bad day, a bad week, a bad month, there is still so much blessings around you, even in the smallest thing, right? Sometimes I know it's not always easy to see that. I, I get it. Um, been there, done that a million times. But the sun is saying that you're going to be feeling joyful. Things are coming towards you that are gonna really fulfill you, that are gonna make you feel like the Queen of Wands. This is you showing up in the reading, right? Um, and that's probably why they flipped this card out because they wanted me to talk about these two cards and I didn't. Um, Queen of Wands, beautifully pursuing exactly what is in pure alignment with yourself. The passion, the excitement, the drive, and you know, just feeling very happy and content with where you are heading. So, <coughs> excuse me. If you're not feeling that way at this moment and things haven't been working out, say you applied for a job, you found out that you didn't get it, you may be feeling sad, you're not sure which way to go, um, hold on, the right opportunity is coming towards you. It truly is. Uh, I just feel like it is, but I think that this might be just a little bit of, or just one of those days, you know? One of those days where it might not all make sense at the beginning, but at the very end, it looks like you are back in control. Uh, and you are full of new ideas, and you're seeing very clearly. Okay, so Saji, I'm going to close this reading off. It's only for a day. Um, let's see if there's anything that wants to come out of the treasures from Takashi, and I will let you go. Uh, I will continue to try and do these dailies if you like them. I love giving them back to you. I appreciate you being here, and I do hope this helps in some way, right? General read, so just the energies. But if you have that feeling on November 1st where you're like, oh my God, I'm so exhausted and I feel sad and I feel overwhelmed and I feel stuck and I don't know what to do, take a deep breath, do something good for yourself and, under, and know that things are going to be changing for the positive. Okay, so we have a, a, anticipation that has come out and we have awareness, two A's. Hmm, that's interesting. Okay, anticipation creates a feeling of excitement. Hold that feeling of anticipation as you embark on your next course of action. Unusual occurrences may not be anticipated, but don't waste any time worrying either. Let go of expectations. They only take you out of the now moment. When you anticipate, you can enjoy the fun of the whole journey right here and right now. So beautiful. Get that rest so that you can start to get excited again about what tomorrow's going to be bringing you, right? And then on the bottom of the deck, we have awareness. And it is followed by now. So this seems to be a very present reading that Spirit wants you to stay in the present. Um, quiet, self-assured awareness brings rich rewards. Awareness is the key to spiritual growth. But watch out for the ego. For as soon as you think you are aware of it all, you'll find out that you aren't. To arrive at any destination with fulfillment, take awareness and openness along with you on the journey. Then they take you they take up very little space and yet create a most expansive view. So I feel this is about you just being really in tune with yourself on November 1st. Really be aware of the signs that your body may be giving you of exhaustion, tiredness, maybe you just need to drink a little bit more water, maybe you know that you need to get a little bit more sun. You know, all those little things can add up to really reinvigorate our spirit. So I feel like that is what is necessary here for you. It's gonna work out fine. This is going to be just a blurb, and before you know it, everything changes. But please pay attention to your body. If you need that rest, Saji, take it. You deserve it. Uh, you're such a hard, hard worker. You give 120% to, your, to anything that you put your energy into. So be kind to yourself.
All right, Sag, I hope this helped in some way. Remember to laugh. Let me know if you have a, one of those belly laughs, you know, the kind that is absolutely ridiculous and crazy and, and, and um, you know, can look quite silly, but man, does it ever feel good, right? So I wish you a beautiful number, no, November 1st. I hope this is going to be a really wonderful month for you and for the collective. Thank you again for being here. I love you. I appreciate you. If you want a private reading, please just send me an email and we can schedule that up. Um, and until next time, which I guess would be Wednesday, um, have a beautiful Tuesday, a beautiful November 1st. All right. Mwah, kisses and we will see you shortly. Take care.